Hello everyone and welcome to this scratch video. In this video I'm going to be trying out Windows knockoffs. So the first one I have here is Windows XP. So far it looks good. The loading screen for like when you boot it up looks realistic. For some reason there's a timer icon there but whatever. I'm logging in as admin because that's the only login. Classic Windows XP startup sound. So these are the apps we have. The volume controller. Pretty cool. Um, I slid it off the slider. Nice. I'll just keep at its default, which is max, I think. And how am I supposed to make? Wait, don't tell me we have the actual, like, olive green. Oh, I love this. No, Windows XP is older than me, but I still love the themes. So I'm going to write here, hola, and I think if I press the down arrow, it clears it. Yep. So now if you'll excuse me, I'm going to write every colour that paint has on here. I mean, it's not really paint, because you don't have, like, the shapes, but I mean, like, who cares? Oh, this is cool. You can actually type on WordPad, but you can't press backspace, so you kind of have to um, delete the whole document, which is really good. You can type on WordPad, kind of. Because, I mean, the letters repeat way too fast. They hold it down for like a millisecond and then it starts repeating. Anyway, let's go to run. I think you can only run WinBug. There it is, Windows XP Professional, even though the boot screen said Windows XP Home. Um, I completely forgot we can change the desktop background. It's got all the classic Windows XP backgrounds on here. So this next one is a Windows 10 simulator. So it's a good sign, it's got the good Windows 10 boot screen and not some weird scratch animated one. I mean they probably just put GIFs on here but who cares. Okay, it knows my username, that's a bit creepy but that's just sign in. Okay, everything looks completely pixelated but we don't really care about that. Um, cool, it's got the start menu. This looks just like Microsoft Edge. Takes forever to load anything. Um, I think we can open Xbox, even though it does nothing. Apart from move around, I mean, have a look at the minimise and close buttons. Like, it's so delayed when you move around the window. Okay, settings works. Oh cool, you can go to personalization and you can set the background. Okay, I'm just gonna leave it as um, Windows 10. And, uh, well, you can turn Katana on actually. Let's have a look at time and language. Just kidding, there's nothing in there. New username. I want Windows the 11 with the cover source. Um, alarms. You can set it for 2:30 in the morning. Um, do we have like more apps on here, perhaps. Oh yes, we do. But does the calculator work? Yeah, it works! Nice! Okay, let's um, have a look at Cortana. Um, yeah, nobody likes you, Cortana. get the all apps menu because that button yeah I can have a look at get started just kidding get started doesn't work 
how about notepad? Advanced text editing, styling, navigation, and text reflow. Okay. Okay, this one looks better than the text editor on Windows XP. Totally. It doesn't repeat the letters at 2000 miles an hour. You can actually type on this thing. Yes. Excuse that noise, that's my chair being a chair. Uh, file, can you save it? Um, what is that? Click three times quickly on the text below and press Ctrl plus C. Y, then something. Okay, that's just weird. Okay, um, I don't think I've checked out the store yet. Let's see if I can check out the store. 3D platformer. Let's download it. Downloading. Um, hello, I would like to play my 3D platformer. between Windows 7 and Windows Vista and for some reason Chrome is labelled as Internet Explorer. The person who created this was clearly technologically illiterate. Um, maybe I should just press the power button? Uh, what, what, what's going on? Um, hello? What is going on? I did have to make a few changes to the code, but I finally got in. You can't even use anything on this thing, like, if you just click inside any windows, it just closes them. And at least listen to this music. Um, I can. Not the best music. You can't do anything on this thing. Is it finally ended? Never mind. Okay, it's way too loud now. Um, well, that wasn't great. Okay, this next one is a Windows 7 simulator, as you can very clearly see. So let's start it up. The starting up screen looks good, apart from the fact it looks massively oversized. My chair's being a chair again. Okay, it's taking a while, but I assume that's coded deliberately to take a while. Please wait. No! Okay, good, I didn't have to wait. Okay, no password, so I can get straight in. Um, okay, start when he works. Okay, Chrome doesn't work. No, it can't right click, because this is scratch. Okay, File Explorer does work. I can't even use, like, not full screen on that way. How about, um, Windows Media Player? No. Calculator? No. Paint? No. Control Panel? No. Games? No. Oh, Computer Books. I guess that's part of File Explorer. Yeah. Any videos don't work, like you can't watch anything or do anything else. Yeah, this isn't really great to be honest. This next one is a Windows 11 simulator that was made in 2015. And it looks like they're trying to imitate MS DOS based Windows, which is literally just a DOS GY. Okay, I think if I do this, yeah, it's working. Spinning Windows logo. Come on, load you stupid thing. Keep your mouse in the circle to unlock. Okay, nice. Okay, here is the desktop. It actually looks pretty nice. Let's see what's in menu. Display and all apps. 
This really doesn't work for all that does. Let's check out Chrome. Click here websites. Okay. iFunny.com. More like notfunny.com. Bird kicks cat. If you just click it, the views goes up. Wait, right, hold on. If I get out my auto clicker and I set it to one millisecond. Oh my god, look at that. See how fast the views are going up. Okay, I'm gonna get it to a solid 12,800 by watching it legitimately. Okay, how about radio? Oh, my volume is off. Okay, that's probably copyrighted, so I'm probably gonna get some kind of claim for that. Um, let's check out themes. Um, now this just looks like a macOS knockoff on a Windows knockoff on Scratch. Uh, let's go to all apps to access the radio again. This thing is so glitchy. Not saying that my Windows 12 isn't glitchy, but... It's so glitchy! Okay, this is Windows 3.1. Okay, I think the first app I'm going to check out is um, MS-DOS. Command exit to exit. Uh, that's exactly what I'm gonna do. How about mouse? Oh, that's not mouse settings, it's just a mouse. That follows my actual mouse around. Windows setup. Apparently a VGA display. Um, I don't know what you're supposed to do on this solitaire. Um, how about notes or notepad? Add what to notepad? Um, okay, so this is kind of bad. Okay, I want to end my Windows session because it's not Windows. This next one is Windows 1.0. Okay, so these are the um, apps we have. Cannot change to directory A. Um, okay, reversity doesn't work. Why do I feel like this was created? by the same developer as that uh, Windows 3.1 project? If you could call it Windows 3.1. Was this made by the same developer as that Windows 3.1 project? Yeah, I wondered that too. Um, we'll just close that. How about terminal.exe? Okay, I think I'm stuck here. Oh, this is just brilliant. Yeah, how do I guess out? Tell me, how do I guess out? Okay, this one is Windows 95. As you can very clearly see. That is so distorted! Welcome to Windows 95, made by someone who I can't pronounce their name. Hard drive. Windows. Restricted folder. Um. Okay. Um. This looks like an Internet Explorer. Um. Okay. 
Apple.com removing your headphone jack since 2016. <laughs> you no longer have to type www dot before every URL. So advanced, am I right? Okay, media player. Um, I don't know what that is. Mail. My name is Window the Eleven. Okay, what's in my inbox? Hi, Window the Eleven. We hope you are enjoying dot dot dots. Yeah, I am enjoying dot dot dots. Settings, time zones. Um, ahead. Eight hours. It's four thirty-six p.m. Okay, we're gonna go behind. Five hours. So now it's five thirty-six a.m. Delete system. Yes. This is exactly what I wanted to do. Blue screen of death. Um. Yeah, I'm not restarting that PC. 